Hi everyone, welcome back. Now looking at the circumstances where we just have parallel lines. So this pair here, those two are parallel. We put the little arrows on them to say they're parallel. Well, I call them railway tracks. These two are parallel as your railway tracks. Number three, I made them go this way. Made the parallel lines go vertical or sort of vertical. And then over this one got to a more complicated look. We'll get there in a moment, see how we go. I still like to talk about the fact that everything on here is either acute which I talk in class I call cute, and I talk about obtuse, which is big. And I can use other words for it, but let's just use this one here is acute. So that's acute, that's obtuse, that's acute, that's obtuse. And if you haven't ever seen the pattern, they go a pattern around there. And the same pattern here, obtuse, acute, obtuse and acute. And there's gonna be lots of people out there that want you to use all the words for it. Now, next year when I make more videos on this, especially for year nine, I'll go through more of the words, and some of you would remember words like alternate. I will say for the moment that these two here are called alternate angles, and if you go around and outline the two angles, it makes a Z shape. It's a bit weird though, because these two are also called acute. But if you did an outline around the two angles, it's also like a stretched out Z shape. So a very common one is alternate angles. But let's get away from that for a moment. If that one's acute, and I still like to look at the fact I'll do it again and again and again. I've got a book here I've been using and making videos. And I look at that corner there. Is, that one there is bigger than that book. So the book itself is 90 degrees. So it goes over further. So this angle is bigger than 90. That's why we call it obtuse. Whereas this one's quite small. That's why I talk about cute. A lot of people talk about cute. But it's actually the proper word is... Ah, cute. So if that one there is acute, you can see also that this one down here is acute. And there's one simple rule with these things, if they're both acute, they're both the same answer. So I can just go that that's A equals 65 degrees. Don't need to calculate it, don't need to think about it, they're just the same. Now over here, just to make it a little bit different, this angle's bigger than 90, 133 degrees, and if I put a corner on there, you can see it's much bigger than 90 degrees. So that one's much bigger than 90, that's obtuse. That's much bigger than 90, and that's obtuse as well. So there, that one's got to equal that one, so you can just go that B equals 133 degrees. And those who know what they are, they're actually called corresponding angles. Look at these two here. Now here's the first tricky one. This one here is obtuse, so I'll go with a red pen. That one's obtuse. Whereas this one here is, this is bigger than 90, this one's smaller than 90, so that's acute. And you have one simple rule, back to the magic numbers, which are 360 and 180, if I half 360, and if I half that, I get 90. They're the three very common things we're gonna have when we're talking about angles. All the way around the circle, half the way around the circle, a straight line, the triangle, and the right angle, like we see very commonly in the corner of a room. So if one's obtuse and one's acute, they add up to 180. So the obtuse, and the acute add up to 180. So on this one, I can just go C is 180 minus 100. And a really easy one to do, and that's just 80 degrees. The obtuse and the acute, if I made a paper version of that, and if I cut that corner out, and I cut that corner out, and I put them together, they will actually make a straight line. But I'm not going there now. I don't have time at this stage to do that. Now, back to the complicated one. So what have we got? Obtuse, acute, obtuse, acute, and you go through that process with all three. I always often think it's like seats in a, in a room. It's your four seats that students are sitting around. Obtuse, acute, that one's cute. But you just look at it and see it's like less than 90. So if that's less than 90 and that's less than 90, D is 70 degrees. And then if you look at that and say that's less than 90 and that's less than 90, you can also say that E is 70 degrees. Then the tricky one. This one's less than 90, acute. This one's bigger than 90, obtuse. And the acute and the obtuse add up to 180. So how do I get F? I just go 180 minus the 70. And I get 110 degrees. And the last one is this one here is obtuse. Go straight across where two lines cross over. They're called vertically opposite angles. If this one's 110, this one's also 110. 